This is a large cone head. It's got all the hallmarks of a typical cricket, particularly a pair of disproportionately large hind legs. They are of course an adaptation for jumping and they come in very useful when escaping danger. Let's see what happens when I release it from this jar. But there is a unique family of crickets which has done away with these specialized limbs altogether, useful as they may be. Because while they too possess a remarkable adaptation of their legs, they have no need for jumping. They are denizens of an underground world. This is a mole cricket. It's a rather strange cricket. Its hind legs are not particularly long or thick enough to propel the insect's weight, and indeed these crickets cannot jump as their more well-known cousins can. But it is the front legs which seem to be modified in a peculiar way, and they work very well indeed. Without hesitation, the cricket burrows its way into the earth, making short work of the soil's great clumps by shoveling away at it with its forelegs. And what remarkable forelegs they are. They have evolved to become broad and flattened, like a serrated shovel. In fact, their forelegs are so useful for digging through the earth, that an eerily similar structure is found in a completely different animal, the mole. This is a classic case of convergent evolution, a phenomenon in which two completely different organisms evolve the same traits to satisfy the same needs. Other examples of convergent evolution include the similar body plan of ichthyosaurs and present-day dolphins, the membranous wings of bats and pterosaurs, and the remarkably complex camera eyes of vertebrates and cephalopods. Though the insect is named after the mammal, mole crickets predate their vertebrate namesakes by about 90 million years. In fact, the very first mole crickets appeared on Earth some 145 million years before human beings did. They are absolutely marvelous creatures, and I think it's about time I release this one.